my goal here is to give you nine, if you will, nine items that uh, nine problems in project. And these are common. So let me start off by just giving you a little bit more info here about me. Here I am. Um, I'm a, a senior trainer at the Versal Company. And um, uh, you can see by the picture that uh, I'm a gray beard. Been around a long time, saw a lot of issues in, in the discipline of project management, portfolio management, and of course in the tools of project management. Organizing project tasks incorrectly. Now, earlier I mentioned that we can, uh, let me just show you the entire project here for a moment, that when we organize a project, we have this outline in mind where tasks can roll up their data to summaries, and then the summaries roll up their data to the project level summary task. And that is quite a normal situation. The couple of rules of thumb here is that the tasks in, in any given level should add up both numerically and contextually to what's represented at the summary task level. Now let me show you what I mean. And I tried to make this as easy to understand as I could here. So in, in, uh, in this particular example, I've got two organizations. One is letters, the other is numbers. In the letters, I see A and B rolling up their data to the letters summary task. But in numbers, I see numbers that roll up their data, but I also see a letter. So, you know, these are not like, these are not alike. The, it's, it can roll up numerically, but it's not going to roll up contextually. So be aware of this, that you want your context to be correct so that as you move and as you organize, you'll have the correct organization, the correct alignment of tasks, and uh, your, your reporting can then follow more accurately. Just consider this. The outline of your project is the foundation for all of your reporting. So, you know, all else being equal, if these activities, and you saw this last activity now, increasing the duration of the letters, uh, it, without this third activity in its, or in, you know, in the project, or in the uh, summary task organization, we would show a completely different duration. So it would be a very much a different project. Let me undo this and go back to, to C, and notice that we dropped now letters is now a shorter duration than when we had the task in the proper place. So here we go. The duration increased because the organization is now correct. That was not not a tenable schedule given the error in organizing the outline. Now if you didn't know that you could outline, then make sure that you get into Project Help, have a look at this, look at the articles online, get into the blogs you know, kind of get into the tool a bit so that you, you get a grasp of what outlining is. And for those of you that are further along in your project management career, think of it as WBS. In fact, check this out. I'm going to go to my Format tab and tell Project that I want an outline number, and we'll see numbers now being associated with the tasks. There's also a work breakdown structure field called WBS that will show us the w, this, WB, this number as well. Outline numbers, think of them as internal and dynamic WBS, the changes with the location of the task. Uh, useful and uh, in aligned alignment rather with the Project Management Institute and project management concepts in general. 